SVC-041-0009. Resolution 3, Inspection for Alarm Code 3 and 4, Flame. This procedure applies to the Inferno 3500, Inferno GC, and Inferno 4500. It should be performed only by an approved service provider. Use the table of content embedded in the description of this video to skip ahead to the desired topic. Determine the symptoms. The ignition module is inside the machine room compartment behind the control panel. If the rotisserie's alarm lamp is flashing slowly and the ignition module's LED is slowly flashing, we have the alarm code 3. Alarm code 3 denotes a safety lockout condition. The maximum number of trials for ignition has been reached and no flame was detected. If the rotisserie's alarm lamp is flashing slowly and the ignition module's LED is steady on, we have alarm code 4. Alarm code 4 indicates that the flame is lost in normal operation and the maximum number of retries is reached or that the oven's temperature is low. You will need one number two Phillips screwdriver, one socket wrench set or adjustable open wrenches, one flat screwdriver, one manometer, a flat pry bar or similar tool. A. Remove the right hand side access panel to uncover the gas system. B. Check the gas system. One, verify the gas valve's outgoing pressure. Inferno 3500 equals five inches water column. Inferno GC equals four inches water column. Inferno 4500 equals 4.5 inches water column. Two, verify the primary air gap of the burner. Inferno 3500 is an eighth of an inch. Inferno GC is a quarter inch. Inferno 4500 is a quarter inch. Three, reset the power. Open door for three seconds. And retry a preheat cycle. C. Inspect and wash down the burner if necessary, all burner holes. See the heart document SVC-026-0002 for more info. D. Check the position and condition of the burner covers and sensor shield on the Inferno GC only. Refer to heart document SVC-026-0002 for more info. E. Move the back wall to the extreme left side of the oven cavity. This is applicable only if there is a noticeable gap between the back and left side walls. One, remove the burner covers and flame sensor shield if applicable. Two, remove the locking bolt and then pry the back wall to the left using a flat bar or a similar tool. Three, with the back wall butted against the left hand side of the oven, retighten the locking bolt and reinstall the burner covers and flame sensor shield if applicable. F. Remove and inspect the thermocouple for damage. Reinstall it and verify the connections. G. Ensure the thermocouple is in the direct path of the flame. 1. Remove the flame sensor shield if applicable to be able to have a clear view of the thermocouple during operation. 2. Reset the oven, pull the red main on off switch, and initiate a preheat cycle. Three, observe the flame around the thermocouple for 15 minutes.
the thermocouple should start glowing orange within five minutes and remain orange for the duration of the test. A. If the thermocouple glows at least one and a half inch long from its tip, it is positioned correctly and no action is required. B. If the thermocouple is not glowing or changes its status to dark, this indicates that it is not in the direct path of the flame. The flame is likely in front of the thermocouple and requires adjustment. Continue to step number four. Four, turn off the rotisserie and allow time for it to cool down. Five, reposition the thermocouple. For the Inferno 3500 and the Inferno GC, A. Locate the bracket on the back wall that holds the thermocouple. B. Insert a large blade screwdriver from the top between the back wall and the bracket. Then bend the bracket with the thermocouple 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch from the wall. C. Proceed to step 6. For the Inferno 4500, D. Determine in what direction, towards the back or towards the front of the oven, the thermocouple should be moved to be in the direct path of the flame. E. Remove the left-hand side access panel and loosen the thermocouple bracket nut. F. Slide the bracket in increments as required. Sliding the bracket to the left pivots the thermocouple to the front. Sliding to the right pivots to the back. G. Retighten the bracket nut. 6. Run the preheat test again, steps G2 and G3, and repeat adjustments as necessary. If the problem still occurs, you must call technical support at 1-800-387-6847 before replacing the thermocouple. An authorization number is required. See the following examples for more info. Thermocouple part number 7803.assy plugs directly into the ceramic terminal block while thermocouple part number 14025 has connectors. H. Proceed to the next applicable resolution outlined in the table of contents SVC-041-0006 to correct any other symptom if applicable. I. Reinstall the right-hand side access panel and restore power to the rotisserie once all symptoms are corrected. This concludes Video Service Guide SVC-041-0009, Resolution 3, Inspection for Alarm Codes 3 and 4, Flame. Reference, Thermal Sensing Ignition System Service Guide. SVC-026-0010 for Inferno 3500 and GC or Thermal Sensing Ignition System Service Guide SVC-026-0019 for Inferno 4500. Contact Hart if you require these references. You can also consult them online from Hart's secured webpage for service companies. For any assistance, call HART at 1-800-387-6847.